Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of December 18th through 24th, Sunday through Saturday. Uh, these are general readings, please take it as it resonates. Uh, you might watch your sun, moon, and rising to gain more insight into what is coming in for you this week. I'm going to begin by pulling uh, from the Eternal Crystal Oracle to get your supportive crystal for the week. And then I'm going to pull from the Spell Casting Oracle to get the theme for the week. And I've pulled out uh, my Crystal Power deck for the daily. And I'm closing with the Beltane Oracle. Let's see what spirit has, please, for Taurus. If you like the reading, please hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Drop me a comment. Say hello. Let's see what spirit has, please, for Taurus. We have for Taurus this week. All right. Citrine. Abundance, creativity, solar plexus chakra. Solar plexus chakra. All right. So if you have citrine, it might be good to carry it around and support that, that abundance, that creativity. All right. And what's our oracle from the spell casting? What is the theme for the week, please, spirit? What's our theme for the week? All right. Boundaries. Wow. I just got this card for Aries. I kid you not. They've been shuffled and, uh, well, boundaries again. Maybe it's a week of boundaries for everybody. <laughs> Are you setting boundaries? Are you holding to your boundaries? Are you allowing others to overstep those boundaries that you've set? Or perhaps are you overstepping someone else's boundaries? Pay attention to boundaries. Let's see what we have for Sunday. Please, for Sunday. We have strength. Crystal on this one's the Herkimer Diamond. I can deal with whatever comes my way. You have the strength to set your boundaries and to hold to them. Don't waver in your strength. Another good crystal for this is um, the tiger eye, golden tiger eye. It, it is empowering. All right. We have the tower coming out for Monday. Um, there's some change coming, perhaps something unexpected. Do not resist this change. Flow with it, flow with it. Whatever the change is, Surrender and flow with it. Don't resist. If you resist, you make it more difficult. Tuesday, the Six of Cups. Hmm. Six of Cups. I remember and treasure the past or past happiness. Um, Six of Cups can also be about creating that balance and harmony in your life. So, um, be aware of places that you need to do that. Perhaps you're caught up in the past, dwelling too much on the past. Create that balance and harmony. Let's see what we all right, um, Wednesday, two cards jumping out at us. We have the King of Swords making those strategic, intelligent decisions and taking wise action. We have Temperance hmm. um, keeping things 
balanced, as I said here with the Six of Cups. There is a need for balance here. There's a need for um, being patient, finding that peace, tranquility, where you can find the clarity that you need to move forward. Be patient, don't rush things. Listen for the guidance that's coming in for you. What do we have for Thursday, please? Thursday, the Four of Pentacles. Yes. Yes. Um, those strong foundations. Setting those strong foundations. Building on those strong foundations. You are cared for by universe. Just continue to strengthen and build on those foundations. Trust the foundations that you've laid. All right. Friday, please. The Nine of Wands. Yes. This is all about um, continuing to pursue those passions, those desires, and not giving up. Continuing to push through to the end. You're almost to that time of reaping what you've sown. You don't want to give up now. You want to keep pushing through, following um, that guidance and keep going, keep moving forward. What do we have on Saturday? Saturday, we have the King of Cups. I am my own anchor. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. Trust yourself, your intuition, your emotions. Listen to what your intuition is telling you and follow that guidance. Trust yourself as you move forward. You have the inner strength here. There's change coming, yes. But it's bringing that balance, that fulfillment. It's giving you the clarity you need to build on these foundations, to bring things into fruition. Let me respect your boundaries, respect the boundaries of others, set your boundaries, and keep moving. Um, I like this. this. It's a positive reading. It is. I mean, the change that's coming is positive change. Whether it's difficult for you to handle or not, keep that in mind. It's bringing in that balance, that harmony, that clarity that you need. Let's see what else we have in closing here from the Beltane. Stone circle. In ceremony, you conjure a devotion so deeply it reflects thy worship into yourself. Be devoted um, to the path, to the goal, the intention. Um, you are devoted. Persistence. Keep moving forward. Trust yourself. Uh, perhaps um, even creating a ceremony, setting your intentions, and moving forward in that would be beneficial to you this week. All right. Maroon is ANSYS. It's all about receiving those signs, messages, those synchronicities from spirit, that wisdom from spirit, listening to your intuition, following that guidance that is coming in for you from spirit. Uh, pay attention and listen. Pay attention. It is uh, a positive week. So uh, enjoy the week. Just watch for that change 
and don't resist it. Keep moving forward and trusting yourself and trust universe. This is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a blessed week.